Hey babes, it's Winnie Jean and today I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how to do a diva cut on a wig. You're definitely going to want to make sure you're subscribed after this one. So if you want to see how I got this super natural and voluminous look that really resembles your natural hair, then keep watching. So today I'm using DY Hair 777. They have sponsored this video. Shout out to you. And the wig that they sent me is this 14 inch curly wig and all the details will be down below in the description bar. Now if you're not new to my channel, you know that I love a natural wig moment. The hairline has already pretty much been plucked. I tighten it up a little bit, but it looks really, really good. And as you can see on the inside, there are four clips, one on either side, one at the back, and one at the crown of the head. And the cap is really, really stretchy. And of course, there's an adjustable strap, which always comes in handy. So I'm starting off by bleaching the knots on this unit and I already have a video where I show you how I do that. I can link that here. And here are the curls after air drying for a bit with no product. So to kind of smooth out the hairline and make it easier to install, I like to press out the edges and it just kind of gets everything nice and neat. Let me just go ahead and snatch off the wig that I was already wearing. I didn't glue it down cause I just had it you know, up for some cute little pictures real quick. Before I glue down my units, I like to clean my hairline with a bit of alcohol and this just gets rid of any excess oils. The glue that I'm going in with today is the Bold Hold Extreme Cream. You guys know I love this stuff, especially when I'm wearing my wig for an extended period of time. And I'm just spreading it out with a popsicle stick really, really thin and then drying it with my blow dryer on a really low setting. And I'm just gonna do this again like two to three times. Depending on how long I wanna leave my wig on, I'll do this up to seven times. And if I'm like about that life, I'll put tape on top and that's like two weeks hold minimum. And I wash my face and like do facials and everything. Like that hold is not going anywhere. So now I'm just gonna apply my wig. Putting the comb in the back, that's really the only comb that I normally use to be honest. The other three, sometimes I honestly just take them out. And I'm placing my wig starting in the middle and then working my way down to each side. And this just makes sure that everything is even and nice and symmetrical. The worst thing in the world is to glue your wig down crooked because then it's like nothing you can do about it. And you have to like go through this whole long process of taking it off. Don't even do it to yourself. Take your time. Start in the middle. That's my best advice to you and work your way out in small sections. Now once everything is pretty much placed, I go in with the back of a rat tail comb and I just use that to kind of massage the lace into the glue. And as you can see, it's looking really good so far. So what I'm gonna do to kind of bake everything, this is like baking for wigs, is to tie your edges down. When you tie it down, it really just seeps into the scalp. So to start with the cut, I'm gonna just wet my hair down the middle and create a middle part. This is just gonna be my anchor and make sure that everything is nice and even on both sides. Um, it really helps out a lot. Now I'm pulling out what I want to be my bang and I'm kind of just separating this out like a little triangle area right in the front. And I'm gonna go in here because this will be my shortest layer all the way around. And I kind of just let this be my guide for the rest of the cut. So I didn't want anything too choppy. So I'm going upwards in like a 45 degree angle. I took about an inch off. And now I'm going in and starting from that same length and sliding down the hair with my scissors. And what this is going to do is create like a fro, like an afro circular shape. And that shape creates volume. So because the top layers are shorter, they're going to kind of sit on top of the other hair and really look super, super full and give you that super voluminous look that we like. I find that if you put a curly wig on and just wear it as is, it kind of gives you that jerry curl kind of vibe. But when you really cut it up and put some shape into it, it like literally brings it to life. So this is what it's looking like before I define the curls. And here is what it looks like after I define the curls and let it air dry for about an hour. The curls on this wig are gorgeous. I would say they're like a 3C texture. Like it could literally be a natural hair texture on someone with a little bit finer hair. And the frizz, the color, everything is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I really, really, really like this wig. Like I'm kind of obsessed. As you can see, it's super fluffy. The layers that we cut into it will let us do like a curly fro situation with a little bit of a bang. 
if you wanted to style it that way. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me get this really bouncy and curly look. All of the details for this wig will be down in the description bar, as well as these videos that you'll probably really, really like. So click one of those and make sure you're subscribed. I love you. Bye, guys.